are well familiar with toys, you play with toys and you like them. Okay? From your early childhood, you are supposed to play with many kind of toys. So here, uh, we will learn maths with the help of some toys. Toys are not like teddy bear or a, a puppy or something else, but you can make some toys uh, by yourself. How? Let us understand. Today we will learn some basic shapes using tenagrams. And what are tenagrams? Tenagrams are basically puzzles. Okay. So here you can see that I have a piece of paper you also have. You can do with me if you feel convenient. Otherwise you learn it first. Hereafter you will do. Okay. So I have taken a piece which I have put it like this. Why I have put it like this? Because I want a piece of square from that. So I am cutting it into a square piece. Okay. So I have cut it into a square piece. That's a square piece. Okay. So I have folded it like this. Then again I have folded it like this. So which shape I got? That's a triangle. Okay. Now I am going to unfold it. So you can see impressions here. You can see some impressions upon which you can draw lines. Again I am folding it like this. Okay. Can you see? Now I am unfolding it. Okay. So again, when I have folded it, which shape it is? That's a square. Okay. Now I have unfolded it. Okay. So I have got few impressions. Okay. So now I will make a five piece tangram for you, which you are supposed to make with yourself. The piece which you have been provided. So I have taken it. Now look here. What I am doing? You have to do similarly. I am putting a dotted line. Can you see? I am putting a dotted line on impression. Okay, the first thing of which I have marked is a, a triangle. Okay. Now, I am going to mark another one. This one is... This one is a smaller triangle. Okay, this one is a bigger triangle. This one is a smaller triangle. Another figure which I am going to mark. Is a... Which figure it is? Square. That is square. Okay. This one is a parallelogram. Okay. Why it is called parallelogram? Because its opposite sides are parallel to each other. Okay. Parallel means they will never meet. If you draw them up to infinity, they will never meet. So these lines are these opposite sides are parallel to each other. That's why it is called a parallelogram. Okay. So that's piece number three. Now I am going to cut the second last piece of this. 10 gram puzzle 
and I got two pieces. Both of these are triangles. triangles. Okay. Both of these are triangles. triangles. And what about these triangles? One is a bigger triangle and one is a smaller, smaller triangle. triangle. Okay. So now, pause. now we will use these pieces to make some meaningful shape. You have to try it yourself. You can make a bird or a helicopter or something else using these pieces. Okay. So children, by this way we have arranged these pieces, a bigger triangle, a square, a, two smaller triangles and a parallelogram in such a way that this is uh, seems to be a drawing of a bird. So likewise, you are supposed to make uh, different meaningful uh, structures using these uh, shapes. So this one is a bigger triangle and a square two smaller triangles and a parallelogram so that's a five piece tangram activity which is a chinese puzzle and you are to sub, uh, you are supposed to do it with uh, keen interest thank you